Samity Samtastic, back with more Guild Wars. Good morning, everyone. It's morning for me, nice and early, and I just felt like I should make this video uh, for those of you that are doing the Canton Cartographer uh, title, going for it, trying to get that Canton Cartographer title. Anyway, uh, there's a technique called portal jumping, and I know that sounds like you're going to be playing a Valve game to do it, but that's not the case. You can still play Guild Wars and Portal Jump. It's just a completely different kind of thing, and that's what we're going to be looking into. Now, this technique can be used in several of the campaigns. I will go ahead and link in the description to a page that talks about it, um, about what areas are notable for Portal Jumping. The first thing that you want to do is come to Kining Center and come talk to Michiko and uh, head on down to Shadow Arts and either get Viper's Defense or Heart of Shadow, and both of those should work equally well for what we're going to be doing. I've got both skills, as you could have just seen, and uh, I'm going to stick with Viper's Defense. So we are going to head on over to Xingjie Monastery, because, well, that's, that's probably one of the areas that's been confounding you if you're trying to get that title. Uh, if you're not actually a faction's character, then you can't do the training over in this region right here and so it makes it difficult to get to this section down here uh, but you notice that I've that I have been there you can get to some of the areas very easily during the festivals like the the Canton New Year I believe they do it and the Dragon Festival is about to kick off because it's summertime now and that's when they do it reportedly but we don't want to wait for that we want to do this now and so the trick is to come on up here. This one's actually quite simple. And we're going to go ahead and throw a hero in the party. you got to have one of those. And we're going to go with Heda. And I like to use Heda in this case because I just put on some skills that make me run faster. And so here we are in Linux Courtyard. And so what do you do when you're in Linux Courtyard? You come over here by this cliff edge, actually. Uh, this is a good spot. And you actually don't need Hata for this one. I believe you can just use this, but um, in any case, we're going to tell Hata to hang out right... Stop it. Hang out right there. If you don't want to click and move, you can always just click the name in case you act sporadic. And you, when you use your Viper's Defense, you'll actually move away from your hero, so you can make sure you get them positioned right, and then you can just pop on down that hill. And if you're wondering what just happened there exactly, you can see the portal to transfer from one zone to another is right right in front of us right there. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's basically it's at the top of the stairs. And so I've managed to go through that portal, and now we're in Xingjie Monastery, and no people are here. So then the next question you may be asking is, sure, but how do we actually get through that gate there since it's closed? Well, guess what? Bing! You can just walk through it like your Raziel or something. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I played a lot of Soul Reaver too. Uh, Soul Reaver, the first Soul Reaver I really wanted to get into, and every time I tried to play through it, I'd end up running into some critical game-breaking bug that would prevent me from being able to complete the game. And so I just watched a speed run of it. It worked out pretty well. And this one, here's another tricky one. You see that? You can see you can see the movement of the portal there. Well, that actually doesn't mean anything. You can just walk through that too. You can walk through all of these gates. It's good times. Gates don't mean anything when you portal jump. They're just there to look pretty because the boundaries are set in a completely different spot. And so this allows you to like, run this entire track around here and explore all of that area and get all of this stuff cleared out. Pretty convenient, I think. Now, one of the other ones that we used that's I, I had not actually known about this trick until today when I looked this up is an Eridon Terrace. And you don't see anything too crazy going on over there, but you're about to. Don't you worry. So over here in Eridon Terrace, if you're, um, if you're in a Luxon Alliance and they gain control of this, then you can actually go back in there by talking to the Luxon Sentry. Oh, sorry, yawned a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. So in any case, we're going to go back there anyway. And this one's a little bit trickier. Uh, it's actually a lot a bit trickier. And I ended up using some photos that somebody had posted on the wiki. 
uh, that sort of showed exactly how you do this. And I'm really glad that they did because the description that was given didn't make any sense at all. The first thing that we want to do is hold shift and click on all of these skills so that she doesn't make you run faster because this is a precision job. What you want to do, if you walk up by this gate and start walking towards it, see how it makes you go backwards? Isn't that weird? So you want to get right to that point where you're going backwards, but get tucked get tucked right at about that point right there and then you're gonna want to basically like hop through the gate over to this rock wall over there and so you need to get Hata positioned so that she's standing more or less like right over here so to do that you actually have to flag her over here and she'll walk over there and so once you have that good angle go ahead and select Hata and try to use Viper's Defense. And see, in that case, it didn't actually push me through because the angle's a little bit too tight. So what you can do is just scoot on over. And then we're gonna try it again. Bing! And there you are. And this took a lot of trial and error for me to learn this, but one thing that you do need to know once you make it over here, if you walk over here at all, it's gonna map you back out. See? Or map you in, I guess you would say. And so you don't you don't want to do that. You want to hug it, hug this wall as you pass through. So just to show that again, because repetition is always the way to go, right? We are going to tuck right in that little corner. Try to fit right in there. It's, you want to get really really close to the portal, not that close, obviously. So <laughs> there you go. I was probably in the perfect place, and I'm like, let me move a little closer, and then there we go. Take three. Um, well, I guess this is take two, because the first one I intentionally walked through the portal. Anyway, you don't care about that. That's a good spot right there, and we're going to flag her somewhere on the ground over here. And, yeah, there you go, Hata. Select Hata. Portal through walk along this wall and then that allows you to actually come up here we're going to go ahead and unflag her so she can come up and help us run faster hold shift click all those skills she starts using them again and you can walk through here now that's cool and all it's great to be able to explore this extra little section but now this is where the party really begins you come across this bridge and you walk over here back behind these what are they windmills yeah back behind these windmills and come up this little rock wall and then sort of wander off into places that you're not supposed to be. This is uh, this is a big bug, but I guess for whatever reason they felt like leaving it in, maybe for people that took the time to discover it, they wouldn't actually have to torture themselves trying to scrape every little last inch of the maze that is Cantha. But you, um, you can you can come over here. It's still uh, it's still something you can do, and it's actually kind of funny because you you may notice here that that it's not pretty sky anymore. We've reached the edge of the world, and there's actually a spot over here where it glitches out really, really, really badly. Because this is all supposed to be background scenery. You're not actually supposed to be standing over here. So they didn't uh, they didn't put any pretty rock walls to prevent you from getting over to this point. Kind of fun. Neat stuff. But yeah, if you're coming over here to scrape on this, uh, some weird weird glitches can occur. Yeah, see that? It does some funny stuff. And you see Hades, like just staying over here on the map. Because it's glitching out. It thinks I'm still standing over there. Something like that. And Oh, wait. What? What's going on? Yeah. There we are. I'm standing off the world. Oh, and then you get that cool little effect there that you used to get that, I, I know you played Doom, right? And you'd use the, the clipping code. I don't remember what it was in Doom because it was some really bizarre thing, but in Doom 2 it was ID clip. I know that. And then you'd go off the edge of the world and everything would do that weird blurry thing. Anyway, that's portal jumping. Uh, those two spots together will get you almost a percent of the map. So if you're trying to get that last little bit, uh, this this is how you do it. That is how you do it. I already showed you. So. There you are. That's a fun little tip for today. And keep on keep on getting those titles, getting that Hall of Monuments, doing whatever you do, or just watching these videos because you find them entertaining. I don't know. I don't care. Click like, subscribe, and you will see me later.